my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to a another action packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And you know what? I was going to call this a just our tea. I might still call it a just our tea, but it is a recipe as well. It's also a review, kinda. Kind of recipe, kind of review. I've still got to cook it in the oven. Still got to chop some stuff. Oh, just had a fucking oof, I lost lager. Gassy as fuck. We've got the Maggie's sweet and spicy Mexican cook in a bag. And uh, basically, what we've got to do is cook it in a fucking bag, I suppose. It's not rocket fucking science, is it? And that's our floor. Before we go any further, I just want to say thank you to Dave, the Blue Van Man, uh, June, uh, Scott, our Wonder, and obviously my wife, Lou. Uh, we went to Worcester on Sunday. It was a great day. It was cracking the fucking flags. Uh, I think Dave's got third degree burns on his fucking head. But uh, yes, it was a good day and uh, nice to meet you all. Brilliant. Uh, my car didn't start again. Went round Worcester, we had a couple of pints, we had some chips, a uh, good chat, a few photographs, uh, everyone fucked off, I got in my car at one start, I was there for 25 minutes until it fucking did. And he went in garage this morning and uh, they basically said, uh, uh, we don't know what's wrong with it, uh, just keep driving until you fucking can't. Apparently they think it might be an electrical fault, because these cars today are all computers aren't they? It's like dry, would like smash 80 mile an hour down the fucking M5 on a fucking PC. <sighs> Might as fucking well have been. Right anyway, we've got the Maggie's sweet and spicy Mexican seasoning and cooking bag for juicy chicken. I'm gonna go through what I've got down here. I've got some chicken, it's been in the freezer, but it's tikka. <laughs> I'm putting tikka chicken. Chicka chicken chicken in a Mexican cook in the bag. Now it's not going to make any difference. It will have a bit of teakiness to it. But, uh, yeah. I've got some onions, got some peppers, uh, I've got some rice to serve it with, and obviously we've got the bag and we've got the seasoning. And that's it. Shopping list, it says, it's apparently there's two of you or five a day and it serves four. This is just for me and Lou, because uh, Josh and the kids have had Mackey D's. They're being fucking brave. Incidentally, I've got the stuff I'm going to do my own McDonald's Clubhouse double bacon burger. And it'll be ten times better. I hope. I'll be using that fucking thing up there. That's, that you see in every video. This here. Look, look. This fucking thing. My quiddle. My hot plate, whatever you call it. I'll get that down. I'll bring it out of retirement. So, yeah, you need a 450 gram chicken breast. I've got about a kilo there, so that'll do it. One large red onion. I've got one big bag of fucking white onions. Uh, one large red pepper. I've got a pack of three. I'm not using them all. With one red and two yellow. And no other, none of them fucking horrible, disgusting green ones. They're fucking minging them. Uh, 260 grams of rice and cooked. I'm going to be served. You don't put that in here, by the way. This is for for the for the side compliment. Uncle Ben's golden vegetable microwavable rice is going to put with it. it. Says sweet corn. We're not going to bother. And it says a bunch of coriander. I'm not going to bother because I ain't fucking got it. But because it is all, it is just our tea. But this time I will taste it in front of you because you all got fucking upset. 
Yo. Go, oh, look at the fucking ink tin. You didn't test it. We're waiting for the fucking gizzard slide. So I better do it, Anna, before I get fucking chastised again and fucking... Uh, Lou bought this, I ain't gonna fucking clear how much it is, but you paid more for her, more than a quid for it. She's been fucking robbed. So anyway, we've been here longer, I've been fucking hell, we've been fanning her, I've been fanning around, spouting shit. By the time we got down here, I fucking cracked on, innit? So that's all chopped up. Uh, we need to get in this uh, in this sachet now. Get the bag out. I hope I can fit it all in that fucking bag. Cause let's be honest with you, I've got a fucking mountain of shit there. I don't fucking need all that. There's a thing there. I've started tearing it. Can you see it? Normally I don't do very well with these sort of things. And these cooking and these cooking the bags, I really don't either. The fuck is wrong with this? Right. I'm out of that. Look at the state of that in my fucking big, fucking massive, stupid fucking hands. <sighs> Apparently, there we are. I think we. Hey, I think we're the winner. The, get off me. The tab is in there. Is that the tab? There is the tab. We need to keep safe. You see it? Because that's how we tie the bag up. And it's. How do you get it? How do you get it? Are they playing games with me now? Is it just is it just a picture of a tab? Huh? No, it's there that's all. I've got to work that. Absolute bollocks. Alright, hang on. There's a lot of stuff to go in this fucking bag, isn't there? Oh fuck, I haven't thought about this, have I? Uh Oh, fuck me. I have not thought about this. Right. Ah. Uh -huh. You know when you start something and you you, you, you you immediately just fucking regret it? Well, that is where I am at right now. Yay! Ah. Oh. No wonder I'm never a fucking tenth contestant on Bullseye. Because I'm thick as fuck and I can't throw for shit. Right, let's see if we can get these back in here. None went up for, so we're alright there. And we're gonna go in with chicken. A smaller a smaller plate, you know what I mean? And oh there's a fucking chun in there, I hope Lou's hungry. Oh man. And then now, apparently, we've got to get the, uh... Can you see that there? Can you see it? Can you see fine? Yeah? Yeah? Now we're getting the, uh... The sachet. The fuck is here now seasoning? Ah, oh, see it. It smells a bit piri piri -ish. And that's how it looks. Should be alright. Apparently, we just pour that in there. Don't sense about putting water in it, though. So we we'll get that. We're going to chop some air in it. We'll give it a good shuffle. A good shuffling. I'm keeping that air in. I've now got to try that tab. Can you see that? I can't fucking see what I'm doing. Holy. Fucking shit, Batman. 
Holy shit, Batman. This is where Luke comes in handy, really. But she, she got, she got a bit, bit, bit daintier hands than me. But you know what? I've only got to fucking done it. Right! The oven's pretty it's 180 degrees. There you go. Might have to just rejig that a bit. I picked it up like a spanner. Is that it? Is that how you work this? Because I have no fucking idea. Right, anyway. Oven, 180 degrees for 40 minutes, and I will see you then. Right, so our Maggie's Mexican cooking the colostomy bag is done. I've just got to brave the uh, losing my face open the oven then. It's been in, it said 40, 40 to 45 minutes. It's been in here 50 minutes because I'll chat with Lou and I'll fuck off, I lost track of time. So it definitely will be done. Fuck you now. There it is. It will like a balloon then, but it's still going to be. Uh... Let's turn the oven off. That is going to be stonkingly hot. What I might do is I might open that bag in a minute and tip and pour it into the uh, into that dish. Oh, oh ho ho, oh ho ho ho. Ah oh, yes. It is fucking hot. And I'm not putting my fingers on it. Because I don't like doing that. You know, some people like it. It's not very fucking pleasant for me. Anyway, right, I'm going to put that to one side. I'm going to bang the microwavable rice in the Chernobyl fucking nuclear reactor machine. And uh, I'm going to dish it up. And I'm actually going to taste it in front of you. Because it'd be fucking rude not to slide it. Down the gizzard. So there is the finishing product. It is my Maggie's Mexican sweet and spicy chicken cooking the bag thingamajig with golden vegetable rice. Now it is a just our tea, sort of, but I am going to taste it. Oh, I put a sprinkle of oregano on top as well. There's not as much sauce or liquid as I'd like. But hey, can't have everything in life, can you? Lou just said it's fucking lovely. And it is, it's good. It is good. My only concern is, it's a bit dry. There's not as much sauces on it. There you go. Chicken with pepper. <laughs> Down the gun. Yours is not dry. No. Thought me that dry. I thought dry was your favourite word right now, love. <laughs> so did I. Huh? So did everyone else. Look, well, they said dry about seventeen times in about fucking thirty seconds. Bit dry. Bit dry. Oh, it's dry. It's nice, but it's dry. You just put a bit too much rice in it, but it's not dry. It's lovely. Cream. I've got some fucking rice yet. <laughs> Onions, chicken, pepper. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mm. There we go. Just our tea is mighty fucking dry. Oh, my brothers and sisters, it's there. And I've actually, it's a just our tea. And I've actually fucking tasted it for you, slid it down my gizzard. It's, and it's good. It's nice. For me, it's a little bit dry, and all Lou said because I put a full pack of rice on each one of ours. But I didn't even get to the rice, so it's going to get even fucking drier, isn't it? It's going to be like a nun's crutch. Sandwiched in between Gandhi's flip flops. But it's nice. You can always put something with it. You know, a bit, bit of fucking HP or a bit of fucking, uh, bit of fucking irons, couldn't you? 
Anyway, I am going to like that. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. Oh, and become a family member of hashtag Team CTB. Where this green haired fucking freak. Fuck, I took, you know what? We're in Worcester, right? <laughs> and we all got to this part, I can't remember the place where we, 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 we had a couple of pints and, a, and, a, and something to eat, right? We got there and Lou said, I said to Lou, have you got your phone? She went, no. And in, all those cards and the money was in the phone case. Oh, for fuck's sake. So I had to walk all the way back to the car, retrieve a phone, which was in the fucking boot. The boot, what? I said, Lou, your phone in it, boot, how the fuck, good job, but I had to ring it, find it, right? Anyway, gets all the way back, well, before it gets back, I get to these traffic lights, and I'm stood there, waiting, right? And this Land Rover pulls up at the side of me, right, at lights, I'm just sat there, like, stood there, like that. And this fucking woman, like that, she looks at me and goes, I'm like, I'm like, are you? Fuck knows what that was about. I think it was, and you know what, they were saying, oh, they might have recognised you. I think, you know what, she was looking at my fucking head. And at that point, I forgot, I didn't have my hat on, and I was walking through Worcester with an luminous fucking green hair. Anyway, fuck that, I digressed there, didn't I? I don't fucking love you.